Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Alex and this is kind of a different video. Now, I know some of you guys have seen some of my Instagram posts about my chickens and my vegetable garden, but I wanted to show you guys the entirety of it. So as you can tell, the garden area was just run down. It needed to be cleared out first and I went ahead, cleared all that out and got everything taken care of. Now this process in total probably took me about two months now we did go out of the country for a couple weeks of that and I wasn't able to work on it nonstop, but I did work on it most every afternoon and some weekends. Now I did most of it by myself. My dad did come and help me a few times. He brought some wood and helped me just construct it. And as you can tell, it's not a beautiful piece of work, but it is pretty accomplishing for me because I've never really built anything by myself. So once that was done, me and Bo headed off to the local plant nursery and got some vegetables to put those in the ground before our trip out of the country. Now, of course, Noah is gonna be helping me some throughout this, but he was such a great little trooper. He would go in the garden and just play with everything. Now, one of the most challenging parts of this whole entire build was this chicken run. As you can tell, it is very, very long and just, it took a lot of work, one, to get all of those wires tapled to it and all of the wood done and taken care of. But once I got the chicken run done, I was able to start building the actual frame of the coop. Now, some may notice that this isn't perfect wood, but it is recycled. So my parents were getting rid of their back pool deck. So I ended up taking a lot of the recycled wood from their project and just made it into mine. So that way I wouldn't have to go to Lowe's, spend a lot of money, and just I could use what they had and it would clear up their yard as well. So here are my cute little silky chickens. First, his little name is Cluck Norris. Now, I don't intend to keep him the entire time. I wanted to have a rooster just for a few months, just so she could start laying a couple fertilized eggs so I could have a couple more laying hens. And thankfully, she has started laying eggs, and you'll see those here in just a minute. But his name is Cluck Norris, and her name is Honey. Now, her little story is when me and my dad were picking these up, we ended up getting some natural honey from the gentleman that was selling these from his bees. So I thought it was just suiting. So they are just enjoying their breakfast. They love this chicken run. It was such a good idea to put this around the entire garden. They love running through it and they're out there all day long. to take you through the actual building process so as I mentioned this is the chicken run it runs the entirety of my garden now it was so difficult it took forever to get all this chicken wire stapled down it constructed and it it is worth it I would highly recommend it if anybody's interested in getting some chickens because it gives them somewhere to run around not just in their little chicken coop area now here are my potato plants and as I mentioned, when we were going out of the country, I did want to go ahead and put an irrigation hose throughout. That way it would self-water and I wouldn't have to water the garden every single day. And here are my broccoli. Now, I've never done broccoli or potatoes, and I am so excited that they are actually working. So as you can see, this huge head of broccoli is coming in. And then moving on over to my vertical cucumbers. Now, my cucumbers, they were so crazy this season. But my squash, they are completely dying and I don't understand it. If anyone has tips or tricks about growing squash, please send them to me because I'll get a couple and then it's like they just completely die. So I don't understand what's going on. And then I have a couple of herbs, some mother of thyme and some like green onions, but they have like a garlic taste to them, which they're really good. And then my tomato plants. Now these things are so tall. Oh my goodness, they're so tall. One of them's taller than me, I can't even reach the top of it. 
but moving back on over to the chicken coop now again I wanted to make this to have as much room as possible I wanted to make it kind of squared so they would have plenty of headroom to go up into the actual coop itself so once I started building it I realized hey I'm gonna need somewhere so I could take their food and water out and change that so I put these little nails in and just removed that piece of netting every day that way I can reach in and out of the coop and not have to take anything apart and then once I moved over to my roof I did just get a simple it's kind of like a plasticky feeling roof I didn't want to do metal because I thought it might scare them if it rained or thunderstormed but I did put this little makeshift gutter that way I could collect the rainwater and reuse that for them now my husband did attach this little hose pipe fitting to the end of it that way I could just pour that and right into their water bowl and not have to bring it in and out of the house to refill it. Here is their little chicken nest or their nesting box. As you can see, I have two little eggs in there. Those are the ones that she's actually sitting on right now. I have two other ones that I've already taken away from her. She has been laying those every day. So I've had four completely every single day, which is incredible. I'm so excited about. And then here's the back. Now I did put these little lights in here because I did read that if chickens are kind of new to it, they don't really know what their coop is yet. So light helps them come to it at night. That will they'll that way they will nest in there at nighttime. So here's the inside view of that. Now I am doing kind of like a deep bedding system, which means I just cover up their poop and just remove that. That way they can have plenty of bedding, keep them completely warm, and it'll be all safe and sound for them. Now here's the look from underneath of them, and they absolutely love it. This gives them a plenty amount of shade, and I'm going to go ahead and do my daily duty. So I'm just going to take their water bowl and their food bowl out, get that interchanged and shaken around some, and we'll get done. A big reason I ended up wanting to do a chicken coop and vegetable garden this year is just to be a little bit more resourceful, a little bit less wasteful, and just use what we can. So this rainwater has been excellent. Now I do struggle taking this water thing off. It is so hard, especially when it's full. So obviously I'm struggling with it as you can see. But I did put the wasted water or the dirty water on my tomato plants because it does help them grow a little bit more and it just gives them a little extra water throughout the day since this heat lately has been crazy. It's been 97 degrees for the past like two weeks it seems. But I do just dump that on there, get all of the wasted and dirty water out, and then I'll refill it with the water bucket. Now that the water's all taken care of and done, I'm gonna go ahead and just sprinkle their food out a little bit on the floor or on the ground. That way it encourages them to scratch some more throughout the day and it gets that dirt or that used food off the top. That way they'll have fresh food throughout the rest of the day. I hope you guys have enjoyed this little garden and chicken coop tour. If you have, make sure to give me a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below and follow me on my Instagram. That way you guys can see some of my vegetables that I pick and my beautiful little chickens. Hope you guys enjoy. See you guys next time.